the button visible can you all give me a quick thumbs up if my audio video is fine so welcome in this dermatology session and i am dr cheshta agarwal your neet pg educator on the best online platform that is an academy so everybody please give me a quick thumbs up if my audio video is fine yes so let's start with the today's session uh we have a plus subscription which give you an access to unacademy live classes from the top educators now currently we are going on with an offer which is known as unacademy learning festival where we are giving you one month unacademy neat pg subscription in just rupees 299 i request all of you to please get this offer this is limited time period offer only valid till 16th of this month you might need a code to get yourself enrolled and the code is jesta10 now here you can get an access to live and recorded classes from the top educators question bank of around 25000 plus questions live test quizzes all india mock test grand test and neat pg fmg ini ct batch please remember per learner there is only one subscription i request all of you to get this unacademy one month subscription in just rupees 299 the offer is only valid till 16th of this month i request all of you this is this this festival is specifically made for those students who are preparing for neat pg uh, 2022 we have only few days left and to help in your revision we have made this offer available where you can get in one one month an academy subscription of 299 rupees you need to use a code that is cheshta10 The other subscriptions we have, they are an academy light, which give you an access to the MCQs of an academy. Then we are also scheduling an on All India mock test on May fourteenth, nine a.m. It's a free test, and you might need a code for this. The code is Cheshta ten. So please use use this code to get an academy uh, access or enrollment to the mock test. We have new batches like FMG batch starting on eleventh. We have a UPSC CMS batch starting on twenty third of May. then we have need pg premier league and this is the schedule i request all my dear students to kindly of get yourself enrolled we also have a need pg pyq question bank where you can have an access to all the previous year mcqs and we have a auto daily practice paper available on the app the upsc cmsc separate subscriptions are available where you can get an academy access using the code cheshta10 c h e s t a 10 so please use this code and get your subscription You can also get a separate MBBS Prof Fund subscription using the same code. I request all my students to kindly use the Neat PG subscription. The referral code for additional 10% discount is Cheshta10. And currently we are going on with a one month subscription of just rupees 299. So please go ahead and get it. Today we have an image based sessions. We have a lot of MCQs attached. So please start answering. The first question is. patient with fever rash and associated lymph nodes what will be your diagnosis must know or top images in dermatology which will be important for your neat pg exam very nice vedashri benedict swati arjun aditi very nice rakshita doremon raj this is a very classical appearance of what is called as strawberry tongue and i hope everybody is everybody knows that strawberry tongue in association with fever rash and lymph node it's a very very classical feature of kawasaki syndrome it's a very very classical feature of kawasaki syndrome fever with rash and associated lymph node very very classical feature of kawasaki syndrome clear and what is the another name given to this this is called as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome which is a medium vessel vasculitis presenting with the following features a patient with dull fragile and dry hair on polarized microscopy the appearance is as shown tell me in which condition you will see such hair changes under the polarized microscopy trichothiodystrophy netherton syndrome bamboo hair or piedra <clears throat> the patient with dull fragile and dry hair on polarized microscopy what will be your answer amazing all of you this is a very classical tiger tail appearance a very classical tiger tail appearance 
and where do you see this tiger tail appearance it's a polarized microscopic feature of trichothiodystrophy where you have sulfur bonds defective okay so please remember this is a tiger tail appearance of trichothiodystrophy which is a dna repair disorder presenting with these alternate bands on your hair but only under the polarized microscope next question let me just move it so that it becomes better visualized to everyone identify the pole of leprosy a very classical image is given here the lesions are multiple but asymmetrical i am giving you a hint the lesion is multiple but asymmetrical multiple and asymmetrical lesions if you look clinically they are punched out so we have punched out lesions what will be the answer multiple asymmetrical punched out lesions very nice uh, raj very nice uh, ram vivek the correct answer of this question is bb leprosy so anybody have marked doremon is right this is not bt in bt leprosy you will see a large plaque and some small lesion surrounding it which is known as satellite lesion but in bb leprosy you will see multiple lesions which are of same size and if you examine it carefully there is a punched out appearance in the center so identify the pole of leprosy please remember the answer to this question is bb leprosy borderline borderline leprosy okay so please remember this appearance is also known as inverted saucer shape appearance also known as swiss cheese appearance also known as punched out appearance so identify the pole the answer becomes option number 3 the next question i hope it is visible to all of you identify the cell which is shown in this image identify the cell which is shown in this image langeren cell melanocytes merkel cell or the mast cells identify the cells in this image uh rakshat uh, i will be taking a session on leprosy separately so try to follow all my classes uh, because this ini ct have a lot of questions from leprosy and that is why i thought of discussing leprosy as well as srd both together i would also request all of you that currently we are giving one month of an academy subscription in just rupees 299 one month of an academy subscription so please don't miss this this is a golden opportunity subscription and you need a code for this and the code is jesta10 so please get your an academy subscription today so that you can prepare for your neat pg which is coming in 10 days the answer to this question is langeren cell for this you need to know the different layers the topmost layer which is present here it is the stratum corneum which is the a nucleated dead layer the next is stratum lucidum which is a transitional cell layer followed by the granular stratum granulosum then this whole thickness is stratum spinosum the single cell layer which has the capacity to divide is stratum basale now the cell which we are talking about that is this cell it is actually present in stratum spinosum it is a dendritic cell so please remember it is a langeren cell which is an antigen presenting cell mesoderm in mesodermal origin please remember it is a very very please remember it is a very very important okay so this is and can you tell me where are melanocytes located in the, in your epidermis where are the melanocyte located in epidermis it is located in stratum basale merkel cell in stratum basale and what about mast cell what about mast cell the mast cells they are located in the dermis they are located in the dermis so please remember the locations of each of them is important next question which nutrient deficiency cause following lesions you can see in this image that the patient has chapped lip with the angular colitis chapped lips with angular colitis what will be your answer what will be your answer anyone can tell me the correct answer of this question
अमेजिंग सो नया सीन थाइमिन राइबोफ्लेविन और मिथाइल कोबालमीन प्लीज रिमेंबर एंगुलर कीलाइटिस एंड चैप्ड लिप्स दे आर वेरी वेरी क्लासिकल ऑफ वाइटमिन बी टू डेफिशियंसी विच इज राइबोफ्लेविन वॉट इज नायासिन डेफिशियंसी कॉजेस नायासिन डेफिशियंसी कॉजेस पेलेग्रा Pellagra is nothing but niacin or vitamin B3 deficiency which presents with a classical triad of these that is dermatitis diarrhea and dementia dermatitis diarrhea and dementia these are the three d's of these are the three d's of pellagra or vitamin B3 deficiency while riboflavin deficiency presents with angular keelitis they can also has glossitis angular keelitis glossitis and what else they can have seborrheic dermatitis like picture okay they can have involvement of the skin in the seborrheic distribution please remember that is very important and yes nikhil if these are not taken care they can even give rise to death a patient with recurrent upper respiratory tract infections with following features the diagnosis what is the correct answer of this question very nice all of you very nice uh, lucifer ram swati combat uh, das adila aditi azam shubhrata the correct answer is wegner's granulomatosis and this appearance is of strawberry gums this appearance is of strawberry gums please remember it's a very very important feature this appearance is of strawberry gums now what happens in these individuals there is infiltration in the gingival mucosa and because of this granulomatous infiltration they will appear like a strawberry okay so strawberry uh, gums is a feature of wegner's granulomatosis it has a very classical triad of upper respiratory tract infection lower respiratory tract infection and in addition they can have glomerulonephritis when you examine the clinically they can develop the small vessel vasculitis which presents clinically as palpable purpura so all these features are very very important next question i hope my uh, i hope this image is visible to you or uh, let me just move it because it's yes now i think it becomes visible identify the incorrect statement identify the incorrect statement very nice all of you demodex infection aggravates due to sunlight emotional disturbances hyperplasia of apocrine sweat gland and doxycycline can be given doxycycline can be given so which of the following is the incorrect statement please remember this is a very classical image of what is called as rhinophyma or potato nose and this is actually a feature of phymatus rosacea it's actually a feature of phymatus rosacea please remember this feature this is a feature of phymatus rosacea it occurs because of hyperplasia of sebaceous gland it has nothing to do with apocrine gland it is a feature of sebaceous gland you see demodex infection the triggering factors are also present and because of demodex the treatment becomes doxycycline or even the metronidazole okay so please remember the potato nose very very classical of phymatus rosacea and the incorrect statement becomes option number 3 now identify the marked images so what is this structure which is marked can you see these mark small dots i am marking them for you so identify the marked images what are they 
आर दे प्राइमरी लीजन्स और दे दे आर सेकेंडरी लीजन्स और दे आर स्पेशलाइज स्किन लीजन्स वॉट आर दीज एंड इन विच डिजीज यू सी दैम सो आई एम आस्किंग यू वन मोर क्वेश्चन वेरी नाइस डॉक्टर बेनेडिक्ट डोरेमोन अरविंद अर्जुन आशीष अर्पी अदिति दीज आर कोमेडोन्स एंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ कोमेडोन्स दीज आर ब्लैक हेड्स और ओपन कोमेडोन्स and why they are black because when the comedones are open the air enters the follicular opening causing oxidation of sebum giving it a black color so these are the black hats or open comedone it is a specialized structure which is pathognomonic of acne vulgaris so if somebody has papules nodules with comedones you should be sure that you are dealing with acne but if somebody have only papule pustules without any comedones you have to think of other diagnosis also because it is a pathognomonic lesion you almost always get comedones either open or closed clear next identify this disease you can see the axillary hair coated with some yellowish concretion so what is this disease what are the other special lesions vedashri the other special lesions are there are three specialized lesions comedone which is seen in acne vulgaris then we have target lesion seen in erythema multiforme and we have a burrow which is seen in scabies so these are the three target uh, three specialized lesions which you see in these individuals clear can i get a quick thumbs up from all of you and yes you all are right the correct answer for this is trichomycosis axillaris can you tell me what is the causative agent yes very nice it is a agent or it is a disease which occurs because of corine bacteria minuti sorry not minutissimum corine bacteria tenius minutissimum is for erythrasma but it is tenius corine bacteria tenius this species causes this species causes the clear any confusion anybody has trichomycosis axillaris which is a causative agent or which is secondary to the corine bacteria tenius infection following picture under the woods lamp is classical of you can see that this is an image of a groin with some well defined lesions which appears pink or red under the woods lamp this is a very classical appearance known as coral pink or coral red appearance so tell me the diagnosis very nice everyone very very nice this is a coral red appearance or coral pink appearance of erythrasma and we have just now discussed that it occurs secondary to corine bacteria minuti sima it occurs because of corine bacteria minuti sima ठीक है, the woods lamp finding is classical of corine bacteria minuti sima. Next, a diabetic patient presented with the following lesions. What will be your diagnosis? What is your diagnosis? Carbuncle, furuncle, folliculitis or cellulitis. Diabetic patient with following lesion. What will be your diagnosis? Very nice. You can see that it is a sieve-like structure. like a sieve multiple openings through which pus comes out can you see this there is a large opening here 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 so many multiple openings very classical of carbuncle please remember these carbuncles are more frequent in immunocompromised patients or bedridden patients or diabetic patients and here they have clearly mentioned that our patient is diabetic next a chronic debilitating patient presenting with the following lesion organism causing this is again you can see that you have a lesion with a thick black eschar thick black scale eschar and when this eschar is removed you can see a punched out lesion under it you can see a punched out lesion under it okay very nice all of you nana arjun ashish ram vivek very nice vedashri saptarishi very nice arjun this is a patient with ichthyma 
गैंग्रीनोसम एंड इथाइमा गैंग्रीनोसम इज सेकेंडरी टू स्यूडोमोनास स्पीशीज कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज द कॉजिटिव एजेंट ऑफ इथाइमा कंटेजियोसम I have told you ichthyma gangrenosum is because of pseudomonas but what about ichthyma contagiosum it is due to what ichthyma contagiosum is because of dash doremon buvi vidashri shubrata benedict yes it is a orf or a para pox viral infection so it's a viral infection while ichthyma gangrenosum is a bacterial infection so try to remember both these features so here we have a image let me just move it on the left for you so that it becomes better clear for you identify these bodies in the macrophage on gemsa stain so intracytoplasmic bodies in on gemsa stain what is the diagnosis very nice abhinav aditi benedict these bodies if you look very carefully let me zoom it for you they are looking like a dia they are looking somewhat like this there is a large body at the lower part and a small growth like this i hope you can you can clearly make this out so these are nothing but the amestigotes of of what leishmaniasis so it is ld bodies these are the amestigot forms which are seen inside the macrophages and they are sometimes also known as dia bodies okay so these are not hp these are not hj they are not codri they are uh, leishmania donovan bodies which are seen inside the macrophages clear all of you can you all give me a quick thumbs up if this point is clear very nice very nice please tell me the correct answer identify this condition identify this condition you can see that there is a band of decreased pigment on the hair so alternate dark and light bands are present on the scalp hair in which condition you will see them kwashiorkor zinc deficiency selenium or marasmus very nice ram vivek swati arjun very nice all of you this is a very classical feature of kwashiorkor and this sign is known as flag sign this sign is known as flag sign so with this we are done with the today's session more such images are there on the app so please download the app use this code and get your one month un academy subscription in just rupees 299 so this offer is limited time period offer where you can get an access to an academy in just rupees 299 we have never seen such a discount on an academy so please utilize it use this code don't forget to use this the code is chesta10 that is c h e s t a 10 this is under the an academy learning festival where we are giving the subscriptions in just rupees 299 so please use this code and avail this discount so bye bye all of you all the best let's crack it and see you soon on the plus till then take care bye bye